the floods caused by the incessant rain that lashed the state caused war of words in CCP meeting when councillors said that nothing has been done to clear the clogged drains. Speaking to media persons after the meeting, CCP Commissioner Ajit Roy said that his workers had been tirelessly working since the morning to clear the water lagging from the city. He further said that the city needs better infrastructure in order to avoid such situation in the future. No, no, no. Anyway, there is a lot of time uh, in hand okay. because uh, there is a direction from collector that till 15th of October no road cutting. Yeah, that, that is anyway is uh, uh, in effect. As far as corporation taking decision is concerned, we still have time in hand. That request from that agency has come. Now all the honorable corporators will sit and discuss. The map has been circulated, that group map has been circulated with everybody. So maybe next meeting, when they come, they'll come with proper study and they'll take up. In today's corporation meeting, it has been decided to take up a study first. First to identify all those locations where we can go ahead with the pay parking issue. Second point was to uh, how to enable parking for permanent residents because yeah. in our city there are residential areas and commercial areas together and space is limited so corporation needs to decide about that also so these two things will be studied over next next one month in the next corporation meeting this matter will be discussed again so this this is the extreme uh, rains which uh, we have witnessed over the last 24 years so it was expected and uh, this is also true that carrying capacity of our drains is limited uh, you would appreciate the point that over the last 20-25 years there has been a lot of concretization in the city. When there is a lot of concretization in any city, there is large runoff of water. That means big quantity of water instead of percolating underground comes in the drains. And these drains were constructed 100 years ago, so its carrying capacity is limited. So there is a need to redo all the drains. We need to put up bigger and better drainage infrastructure in place. So uh, today we have decided to prepare a, you can say, concept note for a better drainage infrastructure. Our engineers will do the job and then we will send a proposal to the council. This kind of rain with the size of drains that you have, there will be water logging. That cannot be helped. But you must appreciate that within half an hour of rain stopping, water has received. Uh, they'll continue at Don Bosco because town vending committee has identified that as hawker's zone and uh, our responsibility is to keep that area clean so that no one gets disturbed unnecessarily. I'm sending team almost every day and I'm taking reports from them and it's our responsibility to keep that area clean. Parking, parking is not permitted on the road and we have uh, made this communication to traffic police also. So they have to regulate the park, parking in the city. So that uh, these uh, Gada owners, they have to ensure that they maintain proper hygiene. And uh, as you have highlighted this problem, it was highlighted by uh, honorable corporator also. So I'll send my sanitary inspectors and we will see if uh, we can. Yes. Yes. If such complaints will be there, then uh, we will uh, ensure that those Gada owners, they do not operate from there. Because yeah. hygiene is very important. See. A hawker's zone has come up because there is direction from Honorable yeah, Supreme that Court Supreme. that livelihoods of small uh, hawkers should not get disturbed. That is why we have organized them at one hawker zone. But at the same time, if they are they are also doing this business, they have to maintain proper hygiene. We have toilet in our house, right? So hygiene is to be maintained. Let's understand this. And if Gada has been shifted to Don Bosco, uh, I mean near Don Bosco school. That is the right place which we have identified right now. We do not have free open spaces in the city. Okay, and it's our responsibility to maintain that area clean, which we are doing. Our team is on the job 24 hours. But things like this, uh, I mean everybody should understand, all the residents of the city must appreciate this fact that two things should not be mixed up unnecessarily. We have toilets in our house. We have, we have drains, gutters under our house, right? But that does not affect our health because we know how to maintain hygiene. Similarly, if gadas are operating from there, municipal authorities have to ensure that those areas are uh, cleaned properly and no dumping of garbage of any kind is allowed anywhere. Bureau report, Don Bosco Channel.